Hey guys, a friend of mine recently asked me how he could model a gun barrel like this. It's pretty simple and the way you'd want to do it is come in, if you had a plane, cool. Um, I'm using an add-on here called Mesh Machine which basically gives me the ability to quickly flip between my different modes. So for example, I'll go into face or edge, sorry. I'd add three cuts there, add three cuts there, flip into face. Inset this, cool. Now I'm using another add-on called Loop Tools. You can add that in the preferences. If you go to Circle, cool. Delete that, perfect. Now what we want to do is go to Object, add a modifier, so we'll add an array. Let's give it 10. Cool, now we add another array on top of that, where we'll give it another 10. And we will change it, the offset, Cool, so now we've got a basic shape. Now the problem is, where this array is happening, we need to weld these verts. So what we can do is we can add another modifier called weld, which welds them. Great, so now if we add a subdivision on top of this, see it's perfect. Cool, delete the subdivision for the time being. Then what we want to do now is add a simple deform. Cool. Set it to bend, set it to 360. We'll go for under Z. Cool. Now what we need to do is we need to add an empty. Great. Now with the simple deform, select the empty. Cool. Now we need to rotate the empty. So R my keyboard, 90, Y, X. There we go. Cool, so now we have that basic shape. All we need to do is I'll sharpen, I'll do the job. Come in, add a solidify. So this is for the thickness, obviously. Now we can come in and add a subdivision surface. Push it up a few notches. Now, as you can see, you've got this here, this gap. So what you want to do, you want to have the push the weld down after the simple deform. There we go. Now, what you can also do is you can come in. If you go to edit, go to your edge. Where's our shape? Now we can come in here, select this outer loop. Shift E to sharpen it up, or oh, not so much. Perfect. And that's that. Thank you.